Hi, this is Terry Gray from Palomar College Academic Technology, and I'd like to walk you through the seven slide slide presentation we're going to create in our PowerPoint One workshop today. This is slide one, the title slide, and uh, on it we want to talk about design themes, that is the colors of the uh, slides themselves, the fonts that are used in the design theme, the effects, things like drop shadows and rounded corners, and background art like that green rectangle in the upper right of this slide. Those are all elements, uh, part of something called the design theme. And we'll show you how to change themes and what themes are available to you. On this slide, we also want to talk about text placeholders. Uh, the title you see and the subtitle on this slide were entered in a placeholder, show you how to work with those, and talk about uh, slide layouts in general. And finally on this slide, we want to talk about slide master view. That allows you to put common elements on every slide in a presentation, like the logo you see in the lower right of this slide. We want that to appear on every slide in our presentation, so uh, we'll do that with the slide master view. Here is the second slide we want to develop, and it's got some free form text on it, that quote from Kofi Annan, that we, I entered with the text box tool. So we'll show you how to do that and then format the text, uh, maybe change its size or color or style, and uh, also work with the picture tool. We're going to be working with one of the uh, most fun picture tools, the remove background tool, so that we can get it, uh, Kofi Annan to just float on our slide here without the background that was part of the original picture. On our next slide, we're going to build this bulleted list. And for some people, bulleted lists are PowerPoint in its totality. <laughs> uh, it, you know, there's nothing else, no graphics, nothing but bulleted lists. That's pretty boring, however. So we're going to show you uh, how to change bullet styles, first of all. And then we're going to show you how to convert bulleted lists to smart art. The matrix smart art you see on this slide uh, was based on that previous bulleted list you saw. What we're going to do in the workshop is take that bulleted list, convert it to a list piece of smart art, and then later on come back to it and convert that to a matrix piece of smart art. This will make a lot more sense when we talk about it in the workshop. And what would a PowerPoint slide be without a bar chart? So we're going to take an Excel chart and paste it onto a PowerPoint slide and then format it as you see here. Uh, it's all pretty easy, um, but there are some things to know, so we'll have some fun with this one. Okay, on this next slide, we're going to put some pictures on the slide. We're going to size them all to the same size and then arrange them, overlap them as you see here, and talk about how to control the appearance of graphics on your slide by moving layers forward and backwards uh, on the slide itself. And this, if we get to it, will be our final slide. So we're going to talk about uh, sizing pictures once again and then arranging them, and also, uh, as a new element, working with word art, the sort of fancy looking contact us and the web address on this um, particular slide were created with word art, very easy to do, uh, and then how to make a link, how to take some object on your slide and make it clickable so that when the person viewing the presentation or you the presenter click on it, it will take you out to a web page or other resource. So uh, this is the seventh slide. We may not actually make it all the way to the seventh slide, but uh, let's get to work and see if we can achieve that. Thanks for listening.